Modern dating is driving modern women cra cra crazy. Another reason why I think women end up with subpar men is because of Prince Charming. I truly believe Prince Charming was the first ever f boy a lot of women were ever introduced to. What? Because we were introduced to him in our developmental years from zero to six, where most of us retained a lot of like Disney movies, right? Like we're watching a lot of it. You're retaining all this information about this man who you don't really know too much about in terms of his personality. But what you do know is that he's nonchalant. He's super fucking charming. The whole community loves this man. And what he can do for you is save you. And then you grow up and you meet the modern day Prince Charmings that are unfortunately f boys because all they do is love bomb, lie, and treat you like sh But what they do is fill up that facade you know what i mean of like i'm a really good person everyone loves me i'm so charming how could i be hated you know what i mean? that's how women get fucked over and end up with subpar men that we're just holding on to because we okay okay let me just stop her there and just jump in because she's just going off she's just waffling full full blown full cannon waffling let me jump in and say look look women are the ones women are the ones creating all these f boys it's not men wanting to be f boys i would go as far as to say and I've said this before, but it's obvious nowadays. A lot of F-boys, all of them didn't want to become F-boys. No, they became F-boys because of modern society. And large part because of women. Some women. Some women they may have come across that ruined them. Built up the story and this guy is so perfect that it has to work. So we're just willing to do anything possible to make it work. But then I think that's when like divorces happen and women give up that fairy tale that they wanted because they realize it's not real. Damn. And what women don't understand, even as men, if we know it's delusional what some women think, some men would just go along with it anyway because it's like, uh, that's how I get close to her. And by the time she realizes, yeah, it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. They realize it's not real. Okay, hear me out. I've got retainers in, so you're just gonna have to get over that bar. Okay. What is it with modern dating? That's a train, so this is just going tits up, isn't it? What is it with modern dating? What is it with guys making no effort? Like, hear me out. We're going to call them boy A, boy B, boy C, boy D, all that shit, you know? Boy yeah. A. She's got an entire alphabetical list of boys. Young woman, have you ever thought that that's probably part of your problem? Boy A, boy B, boy C, boy D, all that shit, you know? Boy yeah. A. Well, okay, it doesn't matter. And they wonder why men are becoming these F boys. City boy! City boy! City boy summer, why not? Just why not? Ask me for a drink. Boy A's good looking. I'm happy to go for a drink. He says, when are you free? Tell him when I'm free. He says, cool, let's do Saturday night. I'm like, cool. And then I say, where do you want to go? Um, because he's not telling me. Um, and then that, that should have been the first fucking sign. Anyway, and he says, anyway, you'd like, and I'm like, right, well, that's a minimal effort, but oh well, we'll just see. We'll roll with it. We'll give him a chance. So I choose somewhere. Then on the day, I say, what time do you want to go? And he goes, oh, I'm, I'm proper baiting him out here, but oh well. Is that the right word? No. Um, he goes, I've got a housewarming party at five. I'm, like, tempted to suck it off. And I'm like, well, we're fucking meant to be going for drinks tonight, so what's all that about? So... And then he replies to me at half six on the Saturday night and he goes, I'm at the housewarming party, it's really wank, what are you doing? I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, let me cut her off because she's waffling. She made a point. Fuck. The guy didn't really seem to care much. Nope. And she's surprised. I don't know why any modern woman is surprised. A lot of dudes, they think some women are dumb because they're surprised at some of the crap some women believe. You know, like, oh my God, you really believe this? I'm going to carry on then. Society is shaped now where those men thrive. Being an F-boy is kind of not bad for you nowadays, to be honest. Come on, I think I'm a catch. <laughs> You're fucking sucking me off for a house party. Anyway, yeah, it's boy guaranteed B. Fun. Um, so with boy B, we've planned the date. I get to the location. This boy is 33, so he's a man. He's a man now, full grown man, should be mature and all that. So I thought <laughs> I'd go older and then get someone more mature. <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> Don't laugh. That's not funny. But yeah, 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 yeah. He's 33. Yeah, he's more mature. Bullshit. Look, even as a man, I'm wondering why some of these 40 plus and 50 plus and even 60 year old men, I'm like, when are you guys going to grow up? Never. Like, you guys are setting a bad example for me. I'm like, well, I'm wondering when, when should I mature? Never. Age means fuck all, by the way. I've realized this. And um, gets to the yeah. location. And he goes, oh, I'm going to be a bit late. And I'm like, right, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Waiting. And then I get a message off him saying, oh, my train's been delayed. I'm going to be five hours. Could you have not told me that? 
before I got there, before I spent an hour getting ready and then an hour on the tube, multiple tubes to get to the location to then be stood up. Oh. Yeah, he probably confused you with another young woman he was seeing. Yeah, it happens. It happens. What's all that about? Why do that? And then another one, boy C. Boy C now. See, there's fucking multiple. Well, of course there is woman. You're a modern woman. <laughs> you modern women love to have rotations and groups and pockets and sectors. Inboxes of men. So... So again, women surprised that men know this and men understand, well, I'm probably one of many. She's not mine, it's just my turn. Um, boy C goes... Let's do something this week. I'm like, right, okay, cool, that's fine. And he goes, um, I've got um, training tomorrow, but I'll let you know when I finish. I'm not sure when it's going to be yet. Let's fucking another red flag, that is. Always confirm the day before and the day of. They should be doing that anyway. I'm running out of time, but we'll just end it on Boise. Um, anyway, gets to the day, doesn't message me. So yeah, that's my dating life. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm ill, by the way, so I'm overthinking everything. Just like a woman. It happens in modern dating. Everyone's overthinking everything, both men and women. It happens. I just need a minute. I need a minute. I don't want to be alone forever. Nobody does. No one wants to be on their own. No one wants to grow old alone. But I'm not... I'm not understanding what's going on with this dating industry right now. I want to meet someone, yeah? When I'm here, he's here with me. Do you know what I mean? Not, I'm here and he's here. Or I'm here and he's here. We're balanced. Whatever's in the air or what is sending people mad, people are turning into like blood-sucking ticks that did just stick to you and they suck out your soul and they disappear so talk to me what the what is going on oh.